Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be making Guyanese tennis rolls. So what we'll need for that, we'll need three fourth cups of warm water. We'll need three and a half cups of all purpose flour. We'll need about a quarter cup of white sugar. You can use brown if you prefer. We'll need a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of butter. We'll need a tablespoon of yeast and we'll need a half a cup of warm milk okay so i'm gonna be doing this we'll also need some vanilla extract so i'm going to be doing this in my mixer you can do this by hand so since i'm gonna be doing this by mixer i'm just gonna put my ingredients in my mixing bowl so i'm gonna start off with my water and then my sugar and my yeast so i'm just gonna dump it all in and then i'm just gonna mix that around just try to get the sugar dissolved a little bit in that warm water. And remember, guys, this water cannot be hot. It has to be warm to the touch. So then I'm just going to mix that around. Do not be worried, too worried about the yeast getting to the side. That's fine. Wow. And then we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. So I'm going to let this sit, guys, and I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so welcome back. So my yeast has sat for about... 10 minutes and this is what it looks like now so this is what you're looking for it kind of poofs up and there's kind of like some bubbles on top of there so now we're going to add in our warm milk we're gonna even add in the butter so i'm just gonna scoop this out this is some softened butter i'm just gonna dump all of that in there and guys i did wash my hands so my hands are really clean so i'm just gonna dump that in there and i'm also going to add about a teaspoon of um, vanilla extract. I'm just going to add a little more so it could be on the sweeter side. And I'm just going to stir this around. Just kind of mix it in. Get everything combined. And like I said, you can do this with your hands. If you don't have a stand mixer, this can be done by hand. Okay, so I'm done doing that. So now to my flour mixture, I'm just going to add in a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to mix that in as well. Just get all of that salt combined with the flour. And I am going to pour my mixture into my liquid. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Mommy. Hi, honey. What's it making? Tennis roll. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put this onto my stand and I am going to mix this all around and let it knead for about 15 minutes so I'm gonna show you what that looks like when that's all mixed in so I'm just gonna let that mix in again you can do this with your hand and just let all of that come together I'm just gonna mix that around Put everything and if you find that with your hand it's a bit sticky you can add a little bit more flour again you don't want to add too much because adding too much flour will give you a, a kind of a stiff heavy dough and you don't want that you want a nice fluffy soft um tennis roll so this is what it's looking like guys and I'm going to let this knead for about 15 minutes and I'm going to come back and show you what that looks like and what we'll do next. Hi guys, so this is what my dough is looking like right now. I'm just going to let that knead a little bit so it becomes nice and soft. Hi guys, so welcome back. So this is what my dough looks like after it has rised. Do you see how nice and fluffy that is? So what I'm going to do, I am going to dust my hand with a little bit of flour. Since my dough has doubled in size, I just dusted my hand with some flour. I'm going to punch all that air out of my dough. And I'm just going to pull this out. So this dough, guys, is so nice and soft. And that's exactly what you want. You want a nice, soft dough. And I'm just going to knead out just a little bit. I'm going to knead out some of that air. Not too much. You just need to get out the air out of the dough so you don't have those bubbles in your tennis roll. And then you're going to just 
take it I off like pinch it off as big as you like as big as you would want your tennis shoe and you're gonna form this into a ball thank you and just roll this out into a nice round ball so i'm just gonna pinch the bottom just to seal it so that's what it'll look like after i pinch the bottom and i'm just gonna round this out the big one, nice please. and round oh, and then I'm going to set one, this on a buttered oh, cookie sheet one, and I am going to let it rise for another 35 minutes so after I'm finished rolling all of these out see that's an air pocket I'm just gonna pop that I'm going to let this rise for another 35 to 45 minutes until these double in sizes Big one, so I'm gonna finish rolling these out guys and I'll be right back hi guys so I finished rolling out my dough and this is what they look like um I am going to cover this with a dish towel and I'm going to let it sit for about 45 minutes mm. and I'll be back and I'll show you what this looks like so at this time you might want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees so it's nice and warm by the time you're ready to push these in the oven so this is what my dough looks like after I let it sit for 35 minutes. So now I'm going to place these in the oven for 20 minutes at 375 degrees. And I'll see you guys back in 20 minutes. Okay guys, so it's been 20 minutes and this is what they look like. Some of them are extremely misshapen, but hey, who cares? They're going into our bellies anyway, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my pastry brush that I got at Walmart, and I am going to base the top of this with some butter just to give it that nice golden shine. And that's it, guys. There you have it. Guyanese tennis shows. So what I am also going to do, I'm going to cut into one of these so you guys can see how gorgeous these look on the inside and how nice and soft these are and it's all about kneading your dough a trick that i also like to do when i'm baking is no matter what i'm baking i always make sure that i have a pan of water in the oven so as to keep the moisture in the oven whether it be cakes bread it doesn't matter that keeps whatever i am baking nice and soft on the inside because the water helps to keep the oven moist so my stuff doesn't dry out so yes guys look at how gorgeous those look okay guys so let me cut into one of these and i'll show you what they look like so I'm going to do this in real time. This is a little hot, but I just want you guys to see how nice. Look at how pillowy that is. You see how soft that. Oh, look at that. And there you have it, guys. Guyanese tennis shoe. Do you see how nice and pillowy that is? It can't get any better than this. And these will go great with a piece of cheese, some nut butter, even some butter. They're so good. You can just have it with butter. But look at how nice and fluffy that is on the inside. And that's what you want. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.